Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to The Road to Le Mans. This is a 12-part series in the iRacing Le Mans series where we will be taking part each week in a couple of races in the LMP1 category in the, well, sort of recreation of the World Endurance Championship here on iRacing. And it will all be building up to the Le Mans 24 hour at the end of the year in, well, actually not quite the end of the year, in August sometime I think it is. Can't quite remember the exact date. But anyway, here we are, Road Atlanta. This is one of the most famous tracks in America, or most famous road courses in America. And we are in top split of two splits. We are the number two car technically in the LMP1 category. We're number four overall. And we are just about to head out into qualifying now. So pretty much this track is quite ridiculous <laughs> in terms of driving an LMP1 car, well, not so You've much driving the LMP1 car, but fuel. racing in a multi-class category, uh, well, race in, in this about track two laps of fuel left. in uh, the World Endurance Championship where you have a speed differential a freaking spaceship going through an asteroid field. Uh, it's quite difficult around here, I must admit. The track's only just over a minute long in the LMP1 car, so it is quite difficult to get on top of, but We'll do our best today, we'll try and qualify this Audi as high as possible. I know we're struggling around here for pace quite a bit, especially in qualifying, but uh, yeah, we just can't quite get a hold of the Audi, I'm not quite sure as to why right now. We're going to stick with the Audi because we feel like it'll get an update um, in regards of sort of the balance of performance that they have higher anything between the Audi and the Porsche, because it does seem that the Porsche is well, obviously the most popular car right now, and that the Audi is a little bit slower. I think it's almost, well around here I would say it's between, it's uh, probably around a second slower on a qualifying lap and then I think the race is going to be around half a second slower on, on a race lap, but we do have a better race car than what we do at qualifying cars, so we'll hopefully get through to the front at some point in the early running of this race. And, green um, flag, green flag, okay here comes your first time lap. Alright guys, hope you enjoy it, this is week two at Road Atlanta. Alrighty, here we go. Time to hopefully survive. Catch the seven car. Screwed up sector two on my lap, so unfortunately, yeah, we are starting out of fifth, and well, we are pretty much screwed. <laughs> I just want to get through these first couple of corners without damage. I don't know what I'm doing back here. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but we can't quite seem to get the same qualifying pace out of the Porsches, so. Yeah, not a fun way to start this race, but I do believe we have the better race car than what we do, or well, a better race car than what we do a qualifying car, so hopefully we can make use of it. Yeah, I mean, there's just Porsches everywhere. There's, we're the only Audi, as well, we're the, the highest Audi, so I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, and no, I definitely could have gone a good three, four tenths quicker on my lap. Fuck, I just realised I totally wasn't saving boost. Oops! Oh well. Didn't think it would use boost in six, never mind. I said I know. Why is that still boosting? I just switched it off. Fucking hell. That's good enough. Alright, come on, Joseph. Just want, If I can get a top three out of this race, I'd be happy. Setup seems to be struggling in the hotter conditions, so... Get ready. Going green. Green, green, green! The pace car is in! Whoa! This car here, you fucking moron! Jesus Christ. I just, I'm pissed off because I've already been wrecked out twice in this week. This is the third attempt at my, <laughs> at this race. Which is so annoying, that's all.
You're in fourth position. Fucked up in traffic. Right side. Clear on the right. Left side. Clear. Quite hot, so I'm not going too hard right now. I'm save these tyres for the end. Lo siento, Luis, tío, lo siento, culpa mía, tío. No, tranquilo, Eduardo. Left side, clear on the left. Out, he's a pile of shit. Car right. Clear on the right. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Oh, it's still there. That car, the left down. Car on your left. Clear. Left side, clear on the left, left side, clear on the left. Thank you, Rodriguez. Car right, clear, car right, clear. 
Right side. Still there. Clear. Left side. Clear. Left side. Clear. Ah, oh, this is not going to end well, I can tell. Car right. Still there. Hold your line. Oh. Clear on the right. Maybe the freaking sentry. <laughs> Left side, clear on the left. That car's a lap down. How the hell did we pull that off? Okay, you're in second. Good job. That car's a lap down. Right side, clear. <laughs> left side, clear on the left. Car on your left, clear. Getting very lucky with the traffic, I must admit. For once. That car's a lap down. I'm not sure if that's the leader up ahead or what. <laughs> I think it is. Set the fastest up the race. Thank you, Nevada. Welcome. Sorry to be out. Fuck me, I'm getting lucky in traffic. That car's a lap down. Left side. Clear. Uh, I had to make a decision there. He didn't let me run much room either side. That car's a lap down.
Car on your left. Clear. My god, for once I'm actually getting ridiculously lucky in traffic. Just hope I haven't spoken too soon. That car's a lap down. Ah, shit. Alright, we're gonna get caught up here a little bit. Car on your left. Clear. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, <laughs> I definitely spoke too soon. That car's a lap down. Right side. That car's a lap down. Clear. Left side. Clear on the left. Oh uh, yeah, that lap. That car's good. a lap down. That car's a lap down. Left side. Clear on the left. That's a bit late. Sorry. Apologize to whoever that is. Car right. Fuck that hurt us. Clear on the right. It's just it's just so crucial that you get those cars before the S's because as you see there we just lost a good two seconds. Left side. Clear on the left. That's right. We're still within range of the leader though. That's the main bit. That car's a lap down. Fucking hell, this closing distance is... I mean, I've been done like left 30 side. races now and I still get it wrong. That car's a lap down. Uh, yeah, we lost three seconds on that lap. Wow. I definitely spoke too soon in regards to traffic. Car on your left. That car's a lap down. Clear on the left. Right side. Clear on the right. That car's a lap down. Car on your left. Clear. That car's a lap down. That car's a lap down. That car's a lap down. Car on your left. Clear on the left. That car's a lap down. Alright, back to clear space. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Fuck's sake. No, nah, I fucked my car. I cannot believe it. So Holy that shit. gives me fucking floor damage. God damn it, I fucking hate this LMP1 car. That car's a lap down. You can't run off the track without having some fucking curve go up your ass. And, oh, Fuck's sake, I hate this car! Left side, that car's a lap down. Clear on the left. Break half a meter too late and that's it, you it's all over. Car on your left. Clear on the left. It's not major, but it's enough to mean that I now have to worry about whoever's behind me. There's no one alright, that's that's alright I guess. God 
Damn it. That car's a lap down. I mean, what is... What the fuck? You're telling me you can't run slightly off track without left fucking side. destroying Clear your car? On the left. Car on your left. And now the lead is absolutely Clear checked on the out. Left. Ah, Joseph, you idiot! Yeah, I'm like three tenths slower down the straight now after that. Ah. Sucks so bad. Yeah, I'm like a s just that small amount of floor damage, just running half a wheel on the exit of the curb. I mean, I run wide, or ran wide. Something kicked the ass of the car like four feet in the air, and now all of a sudden I'm a second a lap slower. I mean, I just hate iRacing's damage model. Like, that is just stupid. I've raced on this track in real life, and there is no that such car, fucking the bump down. there that destroys the bottom of your car. Car on your left. Stay on the right, clear. Fuck, now the guy in third is catching up. He wrecked me out the other day. I mean, I've gone from running 107s to 10, uh, 106s to like high 107s. It's just so painful, this car. That car's a lap down. Car on your left. Clear. Car on your left. Alright, uh, that was Clear. certainly my fault. I locked up the rears. Must be marbles all over the inside of that corner. I'm just, I'm driving like shit because I'm so freaking pissed off with this car now. And I'm taking it out on everyone else. Amateur move. That car's a lap down. I mean, I, mi I literally must have just hit that, like, curb. I, I don't even know what I hit. I mean, it's not like there's a Clear freaking the rock right. in the middle of the that track. Car's a lap down. I mean, in the middle of the ripple strip. Left side, that car's a lap down. Clear on the left. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Left side. Clear. That car's a lap down. Car on your left. That car's a lap down. Clear. Oh, this is so ridiculously annoying.
Back Back in the cars are left down. Go, go. Right oh, what the fucking... What the fucking... Oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> fucking hell! Hold your line! What are you... Oh my god. Oh Car fucking Jesus, just Back drive straight. Alright, now I'm fucked because now I have a little bit of right front corner damage and the whole car. <laughs> like, what? This car is a dead set fucking joke. Right side, that car's a lap down. Clear on the right. Right side. That car's a lap down. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the right, go left. The car on your left, that car's a lap down. Clear on the left. Yeah, now I'm fucked, I'm like three seconds left. The car on your left, oh, clear. Come on, guys. That car's a lap down. Why are you trying on the inside? Yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. I have no front downforce anymore. I mean, no wonder no one runs in this series. It's just a dead set right. fucking joke. Clear you literally right. need to leave. The GTEs are fucking three car lengths worth of room. That car's a lap down. I mean, look at this. I'm like. All I did was slightly touch that GTE and now look at my Delta. I'm like literally losing a second down the straight. Fuck, I'm not even halfway through the race yet. Oh my god. It's so stupid. That car's a lap down. Car on your left. Clear. Thank you, Philip. It was going to be such a fun race between me and the leader, but because of fucking eye racing shit damage model, it's, uh, I'm just going to run four seconds off the pace for the rest of the race. Down. Car on your left, clear. Ah, oh, this is so boring. I, I'm literally like 10 miles an hour slower at the end of the straight. That car's a lap down. Left side, that car's a lap down. Clear on the left. Right side, that car's a lap down. Clear. Car on your left. Clear on the left. I'm gonna end up finishing like fifth or sixth at this rate. 
That car's a lap down. You have about five laps of fuel left. Car on your left. Clear. I mean, look at this. That's just... That is an absolute fucking joke. I barely touched the Porsche. Have you got damage, Joe? Yeah, I racing's damage model is just fucked up. I was wondering how I was gaining the energy, honestly. See if you can get it fixed in the pits now. I want to pop a fight with you again. Yeah, I tried fixing it last time this happened. It doesn't fix it for some reason. Unlucky, buddy. Hopefully it'll be better in the next one, at least. Yeah, tell me about it. I enjoy racing you, that's why. Yeah, cheers, mate. No, it's just, I, um, slightly ran wide at the second last corner coming onto the straight, and it just kicked the ass up in the air and damaged the floor for some reason. Okay, fair enough. I'll, avo I'll mean to avoid that, then. Car right. That car's a lap down. Clear. Yeah, I mean, I, I've raced here in real life, and to my knowledge, there was no rock on the outside of that curb when I raced here in real life, so it makes no sense to me as to why it happened, but anyway, I'll have to go and look and see what happened on the replay. Maybe it's a special feature, it's the stadium supercomp, a special jot. Yeah, right. Uh, here we go. Be a fun race. That car's a lap down. You're backing second. That car's a lap down. <laughs> car on your left. Clear. Well, How do I have 11 exits? Well, I'm a little jealous that you race here in real life. As I say, it's a lovely, lovely track. No, I, I actually genuinely think this is one of the best tracks in our racing. Oh, this is just so annoying. Big one, by the way. That car's a lap down. Sorry, Hamada, sorry. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a Left side. Why am I in Clear. second? Dom, Nick, have you got damage on your left rear? Do we have damage? Yeah, I think you've got a tiny bit on the left rear. Yeah, I could be. I'm always wondering a bit why I'm suddenly a second slower. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Yeah, I was not sure. I just thought I could get a head drop. Oh my god! Fucking hell! Left side, you got about two laps of fuel left. Jesus Clear. Christ! Cars are left down. What the fuck was that? Right side, Listen, Manuel. Clear on the right. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to finish this race. I've only got like five X's left before I die, and half of them I'm just getting to trying to uh, avoid people. That car's a lap down. Clear on the right. The lead is pitting now. Oh, 
may as well fit now as well, I guess. If I can just get a top three. Oh, I'll hold on to this third. I mean, we've got the left down. fourth is about half a minute behind, although I think it's pitted, so. Oh my god, Joseph, you useless piece of. The problem is that. I got the five seconds of extra you cut the cord. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gained. <laughs> Uh, the problem is, I, because I damaged the front of my car somehow, my right front seems to be absolutely fucked after barely grazing a Five Porsche. Five seconds isn't too bad. It was only like a crumpled rear part anyway. How do I fu The fuck do I have two minutes? Like, seriously. It literally makes no sense whatsoever. God, eye racing is a fucking joke sometimes. That car's a lap down. Car on your left. Clear. Left side. Clear. Car on your left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Car right, that car's a lap down. Clear on the right. <laughs> left side. Clear on the left. Ah, oh, shit. Is it on my deployment? Let me watch this, ready? <laughs> this guy's gonna pass me on the back stretch. Okay, so he's pitting. So 30 seconds is to get back to third, uh, the fourth. That car's a lap down. <laughs> Car on your left. That car's a lap down. Clear on the left. That car's a lap down. <laughs> right side. That car's a lap down. Clear. Left side. Clear. That car's a lap down. On your left, clear. Thank God, I'm doing one minute tens. Fucking hell, it's embarrassing. That car's a lap down. Car on your left, clear on the left. That car's a lap down. The car on your left. Clear on the left. Ah! 
on, you piece of shit. Just fucking turn. Sick of this thing having so much freaking understeer when you got the smallest amount of damage. Fuck, I'm literally going to be lapped at this rate. How bad we are. Oh my god, I can't, I can't turn! I'm missing my entire freaking front end or something. Left down. Left side. Clear. Clear on the left. Thank you. The left down. Left side. Clear on the left. That car is a left down. Left side. Oh my god. Clear. So much understeer, I can't even turn. Car right, that car is a left down. Clear. Right side. Clear. Jesus. Ah, oh, I just want this to be over. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't know, I'm really pissed off with how badly this car is, what has been configured in iRacing, like most of the cars on here are really realistic, but I mean, I can't even use the exit of that curb without 
freaking bouncing around all over the place, and I'm sorry, but I've, I've known people that have driven Formula 1 cars, like, um, Mike Simpson uh, Jr. in the, oh, Simpson, I can't remember his first name, actually, <laughs> I spoke to him a bit, I know his dad quite well, because he mechanic me a lot in the, uh, in karting when I used to race in Europe, but left. he basically the races left. the Ginetta LMP1 car in, um, in LMP1, and I was talking to him about you know, how this car actually does handle in real life, and in watching some of his onboards when I was, you know, at his, at his dad's house, and it, it's just, it's nothing like this shit. I mean, this car just, you can't that touch a curb, it bounces down. around all over the place. This car is a lot stiffer in real life. I mean, look, you, you can't use that curb. That curb is virtually flat. I know, well, having raced here in real life, you know, I use that curb every ride. time coming on the straight because it's a little bit of extra track and in the dry it actually gives you a little bit of grip, but I don't know. That car is a lap down. That car is a lap down. Uh, one hour of whinging rather than one hour of driving around road in the middle. Car right, that car's a lap down. Clear on the right. Car right. Clear on the right. That car's a lap down. Oh, well, there goes the guy in fourth, so. Right side. Clear on the right. So that's it. I mean, there's there's basically one LMP one left on the track out of the ten that started without damage. That car's a lap down. Car right, that car's a lap down. Clear on the right. I swear so many of these guys need practice. I need more practice. I mean, running wide like that. It's just ridiculous. Car on your left, that car's a lap down. Clear on the left, that car's a lap down. I'm literally running four seconds a lap off the pace. And I would be I wouldn't be so angry with this uh, damage model if they actually let you fix what's wrong with the car. Like in real life you just bolt a new fucking nose on the thing, go away, and you'll be as fast as what you were before, if not maybe two, three cents slower a lap. On here, you, right I literally side. had that the same the thing down. happen where I ride. had my right front bent up by, you know, coming together with another GTE. And, um, actually, no, that, that was an LMP1 this time. Um, and I go to the pits, Clear. it says my, I have, well, it says I have two minutes of damage, you know, I thought, screw it, I'll give up my podium just to see if I could fix it and down. hopefully get some luck towards the end of the race. So I came back out in seventh. Still four seconds off the pace after sitting in the pits for two minutes trying to get it all fixed. So that's why I didn't take any of the repairs because, you know, it doesn't do anything. It's just so annoying. Left side. Clear. It's really, really bad, unfortunately.
Alright, uh, 12 minutes to go. Come on, Jesus. This shit be over. So the fact that we finished third and we're four seconds lap slower than what we were on a normal lap just that just shows I mean it shows not that the car's bad or, well the car's shit but it's not really that it's how hard it is to drive multi-class racing and not just multi-class racing but you know world endurance championship spec multi-class racing on this track I mean I know they ran LMP1 here in the past but holy crap this is this track is just so hard to to get around and um, that car the lap down. This week I've ran, as I said before, I ran I've run three races now, including this one. And in the first race, I car I right, that, clear on the right. I think the yeah, anyway. That car the lap down. Cannot remember. I've done so many races <laughs> this week. Especially with the Sonoma and the NIS, which I'll be uploading shortly. Hold him. That car Sorry, yeah. Down. First race, that I actually got down. hit by another LMP1 that overshot his brakes and smashed into my side pod. And well, for anyone. Everyone that knows uh, LMP1 on cars left. on iRacing, as soon as you get side pod damage, you are basically just made well quit. Which is weird, because I haven't got side pod damage in this race. I've only got a little bit of right front damage, apparently, and yet I'm still four seconds lap off the pace. Um, so I don't know if that transferred to the side pod, that hit, but we'll have a look afterwards. But, yeah, so that ended my first race. And then the second race, it was actually a... Uh, I, had, I came together with a GTE. So, and, but I've only come together with the GT once. That's the point I'm trying to make. I've only actually come together with the G, with a GTE car once. So. Keep to the right. That car's a lap down. Clear. I mean, you can see that HPD was faster than me on the straight. So yeah, the, I mean, for the most part, the, I mean, besides this one incident that was pretty fucking ridiculous, I must admit. The GTE drivers have been really good this car week. On your left. I mean, we, I must admit we are Clear. bullies out that here. I've got to give it to the GTE guys for putting up with what the shit that they had to put up with with us. Um, oh, it's this guy again, hold on. Left Don't side. Know. Clear on the left. But, uh, yeah. No, fundamentally, the GTE guys have been too bad, but... And then today's race, well, I know I came together with the GTE, which was... I have to look at it. I thought I held, um my line but and it just that maybe got loose and, and hit the side of me but we'll go back and have a look at it anyway the point is that that never would have happened had I not um came together with that bloody rock or whatever the hell I've hit coming off that corner I mean that I need to go look at that that was ridiculous how bad that was Thank you. No worries, mate. I mean, this guy in front of me, I mean, he's, he's car number 31. Oh, wait, no, is he? No, he's car 12, I think. Anyway, point is, he has, you know, a relatively lower I rating than me, and holy crap, he is. All that the car is a lap down. I don't know how he did a 104.8 in this temperature. That's really quick. Like that's that's moving. I mean, we sort of semi kept with him in the race. I thought maybe on the on the stop we'd be able to overtake him. You know, having the Audi use less, side, less fuel, quicker pit stop, Clear. Um, and provided we could stay out of trouble and, and continue that luck in traffic. But fundamentally, this car's damage model needs fixing for one. Down. And they well, damage model and the fact that it needs to be able to be fixed on the pit stop. Because I mean, what's going to happen is at, at Le Mans this year. There's going to be basically, Car on your you know, two LMP1s probably end up finishing the race because everyone else is 
All they have to do is slightly touch another car, as you've seen myself do today, and they'll be out of the race. So, um, I mean, you'll be four seconds a lap at, um, slower. Well, actually at Le Mans. I mean, I'm four seconds a lap slower, and this is Road Atlanta with just one straight. You know, at Le Mans with those straights, you'll be up to like 20, 30 seconds a lap slower. So, they really do need to fix that, because or else there's just going to be no one finishing this race. I mean, I know myself and my team, as soon as we see any sort of side pad dom damage, it's, it's over. That car's a lap Which really down. sucks, because my team um, sort of owner, Syandra, who runs Wyvern Racing, which is who I race for on the road side of things, you know, he's worked tirelessly on this on this LMP1 Audi setup. So if he, you know, if we get all the way to Le Mans and, and have some GTE not move or some, you know, LMP1 car dive under brakes or something ridiculous, you know, it's going to be just the biggest waste of nine months that there's ever been. Car on your left. Clear. <laughs> and we will all be gutted. Sorry, James, if I thought you were passing. Nah, uh, I basically got no front down for, so I didn't want to chance it and run into you. Sorry, mate. Oh, wow, Jesus Christ. And that right there is what I'm talking about. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that should not happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, well, actually, no, to be honest, I can sort of see that happening in real life, but not to that degree, my God. I mean, fucking hell, man. How long? Five minutes. That car's a lap down. Fuck no. Just go in a straight line, please. I, mean, I just want to finish this race. I can only give up one more incident point, so... Gotta be careful here. Left side. Clear on the left. Sorry, Robert. You've got about five laps of fuel left. Oh, how much longer? Come on. That car's a lap down. Uh oh. Why do I feel like I'm going to get DNF'd? Those back tires in the fourth are kind of awesome. No, don't kill each other. I'm coming through. I'm so just gonna wait here. I'm not doing this shit. Oh, all right. Maybe. Left side. That oh. car's a lap down. Clear on the left. Car on your left. How that you car's a lap down. Still there. Right. Hold your line. Clear. Thank you. Man, I am so not looking forward to Le Mans this year. That car's a lap down. I'm not racing Le Mans, I'm, right, I'm going to be at uh, Stillstone instead. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, actually. I mean, you touch someone in the LMP1 car and that's it. You have, that you know, a second, a two seconds a lap down, which around Le Mans will probably be like 30 seconds a lap slower. So, I mean, they're going to end up being like two LMP1s that finish the race. Nah, but the good thing with the LMP1s is that the repair times are actually quite okay. So, um, when you have full aero damage, then it's like half a minute or two or something, or two minutes, and then you're good. I, I had uh, 30 seconds the other day, and it wouldn't fix it. I mean, I am on the Audi, which is different, but... Same today, you know, two minutes, it doesn't fix anything, it just stays like four seconds lap slower. 
I'm pretty sure that it fixes everything in the Porsche. Yeah, in the Porsche you get a brand new car when it did all of snow. Man, that that's really interesting actually. Right side. That car's a lap down. Car right. Two wide. It'd be nice when we get that new damage model where bits fall off. I mean, it's actually quite realistic because they're in, in real life they're able to change front wing, rear wing, floor and stuff, so... Yeah, we don't seem to get a new one in the Audi, we just get a sort of, you know, where it slowly repairs itself back to being semi-straight. It depends if it's floor that damage or not. If you got down. floor damage, it's fucked. Yeah, that's what I got in this race, and... But I was only like a second lap slower, it's only when I slightly nudged a Porsche um, accidentally, I, it seemed to be all over, like two Left seconds side. and I barely touched him, I'm a bit oh, confused, yeah. I'm not sure if it's, maybe it, it was a connection issue, but anyway, it is what it is, I'm just not looking forward to Le Mans. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to race every other week, just except Le Mans, I've never enjoyed that track anyway, so... Yeah, as a track it can get a bit boring, but as a race, it's pretty fuel. fun that with everyone running down. over a whole hour. It's sort of one big adventure, really. Nah, no, I think Daytona's going to be the uh, the top ship. Yeah, I just hope we can get a DPI. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Oh my god, DPI. Oh, yes, please. Just replace the fucking HPD. Yeah, I'm into that. To be fair, as soon as we get an LMP2 car, I'm not racing this LMP1 car anymore. Yeah, that makes the two of us. I want that Mazda. I'd buy the Mazda if it was the same sort of BOP as all the other cars. Mazda would be on fire all day. It'd be, it's own, it'd be by itself probably, so yeah, it'll be fine. That car's a lap down. Well, iRacing have a pretty strong partnership with Mazda, so I can. There's no reason why it probably couldn't happen. Yeah, we'll see. Left side. Clear on the left. Whatever happens, Petit Le Mans is going to be good. Why is he just out on all this, Dominic? Was that good? Was that good? Ich weiß nicht, was das Auto weg. Ah ja, nach der Linie ist egal. Ah, it's over. Oh yes, we made it. Fucking hell. There's the flag, it's over. Great job, you did really well. Well yeah. done, Dominic, when you win. It was kind of inevitable. Yeah. yeah, well done, mate. That was haul in the mail. That quality lap was insane. Well done. Alright, so here's what happened that screwed us up in the middle part of the race, or at the very beginning, I should say. We I didn't actually realise, but we actually caught the very beginning of the kerb. And, I mean, as you can see there, that's just completely annihilated the floor. Um... So I, I do understand now, I thought, I didn't realise I actually got the beginning of the kerb, that does make a little bit more sense as to how bad the floor was, but I mean at the end of the day, in my opinion that's still a little bit over the top, uh, I don't quite know how that, you know, destroyed it that much and how it flicked us, well flicked us up in the air that much, because I mean, once again, I mean I hate to sound like an egotistical knob, but I have raced here in real life and I know for a fact that kerb is not going to do that in real life, no matter how low you are to the car. I mean, it'll probably push you off onto the grass. Um, I did, I, well, I actually, when I raced here, it was in the Pro Mazda and in the, the practice session it was wet and... Um, you know, running the outside line around that corner, I did actually, you know, run over that curb once, and and I remember it to this day because I got a shit ton of mud in my face, and and what ended up happening was uh, I just basically it just picked up the bottom of the car and moved and moved me off onto the grass, but it certainly didn't flick me forty feet in the air. <laughs> so we'll skip ahead to the incident with the Porsche though and see how bad that was.
All right, so here's the incident with the Porsche. Uh, I just looked back at it, and I must admit, it's completely my fault. I just did not leave enough room. I thought, uh, being the GTE cars, they'd be well up on that curb, um, and this guy was basically running off of the curb, just, I guess, smartly to try and reduce wheel spin. So I'm still trying to turn uh, right at this, uh, sorry, left at this point. So if you can actually see my steering wheel, I mean, I'm, I've got it almost as much as I can, but I'm, unfortunately, being a four-wheel drive car, that's as much as I can turn without it... Um, without sort of having to get off the throttle and, and lose all that boost coming out of the corner. Because at this point, you know, I'm still trying to chase down the leader, so it's a, it's a bit hard to just back off. But what makes no sense to me here is, um, if you look closely, you know, the contact is made with the right front, and this is what really pisses me off about this car on iRacing right now, is that, yeah, I, I tapped the back of him, I got a little bit of a, you know, right front impact, um... But can someone explain to me how that makes me four seconds a lap slower? I mean, the arrow, there's no way that little crinkle can make me four seconds a lap slower. So all I can all I can sort of imagine is that it actually did knock the front toe out, which would actually happen in real life. So I have to admit that was probably a little bit of a, a realistic sort of um, outcome. But at the end of the day, you know, if this was real life, I probably would have just sort of given him a bit of a nudge off the corner. But it certainly would have not have flicked the whole front of the car off the ground. I mean, I, I doubt, I don't think I clipped his tire, but anyway, the point is, is that unfortunately I, well, actually having found out in this race, talking to some of the guys in the Porsche, the Porsche, they seem to be able to fix it. Now I've had two, three races this week where this has happened, where I've, you know, had slight damage with another car and I've tried to fix it and it doesn't get fixed in the pits. I'm still four seconds lap slower. So, um, I'm confused. I hope they can rectify this by the 24 this year. This is only the sort of second week of season three that the Le Mans series has been going on. And uh, this is only my sort of second week in the LMP1 car myself. So I still have a long way to go. And today was just a pretty dismal performance. I thought we started out well, went from fifth to second, pulled an incredible move at the start. I mean, this was just so cool. This The, the start of the race was really fun. I made a lot of, you know, positions up somehow avoided everyone and uh, was looking like it was going to be a really good race between myself and Dominic but unfortunately yeah just got a bit screwed over by the damage model but this was holy shit balls <laughs> it does not get any closer than that I mean wow that was that was pretty insane but anyway I know it was a bit of a depressing end to the race but it was a really good fun start to the race so I hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for week three next week once again I have no idea where we're going to be at I have so many different series that I run and and uh, sports games that I play on my channel that I can never remember which track's up next. But anyway, I hope you guys stay tuned and, in, and enjoy the next one. I certainly enjoyed this one. Well, the first 15 minutes of it. And uh, we'll move on to next week with hopefully some more speed. All right, until next time, guys. I will catch you later.